Social media influencer Martin Tosse, popularly known as Very Dark Man, along with his lawyer Deji Adeonju, have appeared before the Joint House Committee on Alleged Corruption against the EFCC and Nigeria Correctional Center officials with Okuneye Idris, popularly known as Bob Risky. He insisted on his allegation that he has an audio recording of the conversation between Bob Risky and someone he purportedly demanded four million from to settle a pressing issue with which he tendered to the committee along with other documents. Um, how I got hold of that um, recording is as a result of a risky blackmailing somebody he holds money. So according to the story and according to the evidence that a proof of charts that was sent to me, um, the person borrowed Bob Risky 4 million naira when Bob Risky was in the EFCC detention, or rather, in the private apartment lodge. Um, the person gave him the money. So when it was time to get the money back, according to the story the guy told me and the evidence I saw, he told Bob Risky he needed to, he wanted that money to complete his building in Lagos. So that was why I borrowed him the money. It was now time to pay. From the receipt I have here, he sent him a message. Bob Risky refused to respond. Sent him another one after like few days. Bob Risky also refused to respond. When Bob Risky eventually responded, Bob Risky said, um, I'm going to give you the money in, I think, September. So September 1st, the guy reached out to Bob Risky again. Bob Risky refused. And the next thing that followed it was blackmail. Bob Risky didn't know that this guy recorded everything. But because Bob Risky, obviously, I have the platform, yeah? He understands how I roll. So he quickly paid. But I said, no, it has to go there. Recall that the very black man also made an allegation on social media of bribery against officials of the EFCC and the Nigerian Correctional Center for receiving 15 million naira from the embattled crossdresser to drop money laundering charges against him, which went viral. However, representatives of the two government agencies indicated, denied the allegation before the committee. For the NCC, they insisted that Bob Risky never left the facility of the correctional service, but was only moved from the medium to the maximum facility. Because Idris friends and some family members donated chairs, 21 plastic chairs, to the visit area environment that doesn't have, they have inconvenient chairs, chairs were not enough. So when they come to visit sometimes, hello, when they come to visit us and they discover that there is lack of chairs. So they went and donated chairs and, put, uh, and uh, wrote the name of Idris Okuneye Olarewaju as the, done, uh, as, the person, as the donor. Then it, the next minute it went viral on social media, sensing that this may cause security breach, the controller took action. Who, who moved him? Who moved him? I was not present, but my... Ah, let me say that. I was not present, but let me tell you. Uh, in Lagos State, that Bob Risky has served his sentence is, is actually true. There is no time that, that Bob Risky spent a single day outside. On the second issue of suspension, the officers concerned were duly suspended by the board. For, to pave way for investigation. That is where we are now. And the, the letters will come today because it was, there, it was on Friday. The letters will come today. Okuneye, popularly known as Bob Risky, was however absent at the hearing. His lawyer cited illness as reasons for his inability to attend. The committee has however vowed to see to the bottom of the matter with the aim of unraveling the truth on the allegation of bribery leveled against the two government agencies. To Falanas in their offer to Bob Risky to facilitate his release through the Minister of Justice using presidential pardon. Flowing from the above, it is very clear that these allegations of corruption are weighty, weighty controversies against two of the nation's key agencies. They are symbols of national unity, honor, and discipline. Hence, all must be ready to give the fullest cooperation as we try to get to the root cause and arrival 
the facts of the matter. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.